there is another group of nematodes that are not cylindrical at maturity. These are the sedentary nematodes. They are a little different in that the females cause a modification of the root and then they remain attached to the root. These are often called the root knot or cyst nematodes. The body of the female becomes rounded and will fill with eggs as seen in the diagram. Initially, they are born as eggs and then the first instar appears. These are all cylindrical. The juveniles feed on the roots and can even be seen swimming through the root. As the female nears maturity, they will secrete a material that causes the cells around them to increase in size and become multinucleate. These are called nurse cells and you can see the multiple nuclei on the inside. The female will continue to feed throughout the rest of its life cycle. When the female is finally mature, it will remain in the roots, but the eggs will be released onto the root surface. You can see the eggs as a red mass and the remains of the female. The cyst nematodes are normally found on the surface of the root, but remain there after they mature. These root masses are caused by root knot nematodes. Plant roots are supposed to be thin and fibrous. These roots have become thick and unevenly thickened. The root looks like it's been tied in knots. This is a result of the infection of the root by the nematode. You can see the mass that has been created and how these roots are not going to be absorptive or able to transport nutrients. These are the golden cyst nematodes. You can see the little golden cysts on the roots. They look like little balloons that have been formed on the outside of the root. The head is still elongate, while the tail looks like a darkened knot. If you look at one up close, it looks round. On the inside, there are many eggs. They are called cyst nematodes as they appear to be small cysts on the outside of the root. One of the interesting ways that we have come to identify these is by the use of the scanning electron microscope, as it allows a lot of detail. Whether or not this is practical is yet to be seen. Figure A shows the head end with the stylet protruding. Figures B and C show the head end without the stylet. Figure D appears to show the tail end. One other thing they did was to dissect the skin of the root knot nematode and then lay it flat. They took scanning electron micrographs of it and this is what they got. It looks much like a fingerprint and apparently these can be diagnostic between species. It is not very practical because of the time and expense involved. These sedentary nematodes are interesting to observe and they have created a very exclusive niche for themselves.